Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We have the Nerf Ultra 3. Um, if you guys remember, I mean, we reviewed a lot of the Nerf Ultra line as they were coming out. So you could check out some of them here. And the 3 was the only one that we just couldn't really find in stock. It was very difficult. It's been out about a month or so. And uh, every time we went to go order off of Amazon, you guys can check it out again there. It was just sold out. Uh, so they have them in stock now. And they're not too badly priced. Um, I'm slowly actually liking the, the Nerf Ultra line. At first, I was kind of like on the fence. But then as I kind of, you know, got more of the series and kind of shot them more, and really was just like, wow, you know what? The FPS on these things are just insane. And the accuracy, I was like, wow, you know what? Okay, I get it. I'm slowly warming up to it. Um, it's currently not my favorite blaster, but still, nonetheless, this series is warming up on me. So again, if you guys want to check out, uh, you know, the one, the two, the, the, the one, the two, the four, and the five, check them out over here. We have a playlist of it, so you guys can check that out and see if it's something, you know, you guys are, you know, looking to get. Anyways, let's get into this particular blaster. Let's hop right into the box. You can see on the front of the box, yeah, you know, it's their typical kind of ultra series kind of box. It kind of has that cutout on the top. This, of course, comes with eight ultra rounds, shoots up to 120 feet. Usually when I look at how far it can shoot, I mean, you, you have to put a little bit of, you know, oomph behind those to get 120 feet, right? You, you got to put a little bit of stank on it. But overall, the box is very similar to the other boxes in the series, kind of this sleek looking box, that kind of triangle cutout. You know, same pretty much thing. On the back, ugh, no spoilers here. Just the blaster itself. Again, kind of goes over the darts and why they're super supposedly superior than the other ones. Kind of talks about the internal mag, all that stuff. Nothing too crazy about the box. I'll probably end up throwing this box away, maybe not keep it on my shelf, but I don't know, maybe, right? Now, aesthetically on the actual blaster, you guys can take a look here. There's not a lot of... Um, kind of flair to this particular blaster. On some of the other blasters, you can see there's, you know, a lot more attention to detail on the molding on the outside, little rivets and divots and little grooves and things like that to give a little character. This Ultra line, I felt like they kind of just made it sleek, made it shoot hard, and that was it, right? No, fr no frills, no bells, no whistles, just straight performance right out of the box. Now, as far as the grip goes, it's always one of my biggest things. Yeah, the grip is actually not that bad. It kind of has that little thing on the bottom there uh, by your kind of kind of your uh, small pinky finger there. It kind of helps kind of, I don't know, grip, you know, give a good grip on the handle, but it's not too bad. Again, I got bigger adult hands, and it's actually not that bad in the hands, and the trigger pull is not that bad as well. The pump trigger. Now, this is, this is a, a big point of contention that I hear and see a lot on different reviews of this. And I was like, okay, let's see if they're right. So... You know, the pump handle, it doesn't fit my hand too bad. It's just the front portion, right? When I have a pump grip, I'm not really holding it back here. I'm really more holding it forward with kind of one finger in the front to kind of give it that pull back. And there's not that much room. Whoa, there's not that much room in between this little gap right here. Not a lot of room at all. And so, you know, I'm always scared. I'm going to pinch my finger and I come close. Especially if you have two fingers there. I mean, I'm scared that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pinch my finger. So as of right now, I don't think I noticed anybody that was selling a, another grip pump for this thing. Um, there might be by the time this video comes out. I'll check again on Etsy. It seems to be a popular place. But I could see someone redoing this particular pump handle. And I actually think it would turn you know, the Ultra 3 into a much more competitive blaster that people would actually use. I was actually really hoping this was going to be some type of uh, just a clamshell onto a uh, a Nerf rail, so you can put something like, you know, I don't know, like a modulus grip or something like that on there, where you can really kind of pull it back. I'm a huge fan of the angled grips that they have. Uh, ones like this that come on like the Dart Zone Pro. It's one of my favorite grips that um, that I've used because it's a good angle and you can really kind of pull it back and shoot at the same time. But nonetheless, the grip on here is not that bad. I just think it's a little tight between the magazine and uh, the actual pump handle itself. So of course the pump mag or the mag the internal magazine you guys can kind of see here. So it's you know it's not too bad. It does make the um, it does make the blaster a little heavy per se. Like it really is front end loaded I guess with the magazine there, but it's not too bad. Now here's the thing, you can jam a bunch of darts in there and it's gonna fit perfectly fine. Now you can put eight in there. I noticed with eight I tended to get a little bit of a weird shot on the first one. So when I put seven, it was perfectly fine. 
but maybe it's just my particular blaster. When I fit the eighth, it was like the first one would always shoot kind of funny, and then all the rest would shoot super, super hard. Now, it does have on the top here kind of an additional kind of little section here for five additional rounds, which I think is kind of cool. That way you don't got to shove them in your pocket, take one out, cock it back, throw a couple of them inside the actual breech there. And it's super easy to load. Pretty much you just pull it back, and then, you know, it opens the door, and you just kind of push the darts down into that little uh, kind of internal mag there. There's two little doors that kind of open up as you push it, and it catches it from springing back up. So super, super easy to load. Now, it only does come with one kind of tactical rail here on top. There's nothing on the side. There's nothing on the front. So I don't know. Whatever you want to put on here is fine. I, I don't really see myself aiming down it too much. I'm more seeing it, you know, kind of like right here, kind of shooting and seeing where you're at, shooting, seeing where you're at. But who knows, you know, maybe you're, you're the type that's going to want to go up here. So whatever you want to put on there, right? Like <laughs> I always love my, uh, my, uh, scope that came on the, uh, the Fortnite sniper. I mean, maybe a little bit of overkill or you could stick like one of the modulus ones on here. Uh, the problem with this one is it's kind of in the way of the, the built-in sky, the sights on there, but I think it actually fits the color pretty well, even though this white is a little more cream colored white than kind of this ivory white of the uh, of the Nerf Ultra 3. The video of me shooting this thing, you can see, dude, this thing, this whole line, man, shoots super, super hard. Consistently 100 FPS out of this thing, man. I don't want to get hit by this thing close. Um, any of the normal quote unquote stock Nerf blasters that are shooting like 70, dude, this thing blows them out of the water. I mean, when you're shooting 30, 35 FPS more, you're almost shooting 50% more and farther and harder than those kind of stock blasters. So you could shoot farther, snipe people out. That's why, you know, with this particular series, especially with um, the Nerf Ultra 5 that we got, if you guys remember, we did a video on the Nerf Ultra 5, and this thing was an animal out of the box too. I think it was shooting like 103, 105 FPS just consistently. It's almost, again, like a mini... It's like a mini sniper rifle. This thing was just a beast. I didn't expect that out of the box on this. But after I, again, shot it a bunch, it was just, it is just consistent. So I knew when I ordered uh, the three that this thing is going to be very, very similar uh, as far as performance. But again, you know, all of the, uh, all of the, all of the Nerf Ultra line that we have that are kind of non-electrical or non, you know, battery operated, do they shoot so hard? Um, you know, the four, the five, the three, all of these shoot so, so hard. So if you're looking to make like a little mini sniper, you know, don't go out and get a blaster that shoots 70 FPS, 60 FPS. Dude, pick up one of these and you'll be able to snipe people out at phenomenal ranges. It, it, is, it is unbelievable. But you can see again in the video that I'll, I'll pull up again here, it just shoots ultra hard. And you can see the FPS there, just 100 plus, just all, all day long on this particular blaster. I'm just, again, super impressed with it. Um, and I've been meaning to get this thing for a long time. Anyways, guys, you know, let me know what you guys think of this thing. I, I really like it for the cost. I think it's, you know, a cool, unique looking blaster. It kind of finishes out the uh, series of the Nerf Ultra. Sure, they're going to have more, but I did review again all of the ones that are currently out, the one, two, three, four, five. And so far, ooh, it's a tough one between the series. Ah, uh, do, do I, you know, do I like the five more than the three? Hmm. Oh, uh, that's a tough one. I feel like I'm more mobile with this, but you know, accuracy wise, maybe I might be more accurate with this. I, I don't know yet. I would much rather carry two of the fives than one of the threes, but still the three is, is very cool. N nonetheless, right? I, it's, it's nothing that I can complain about the performance. How fast, gosh, that's so hard. How fast it shoots, I think is awesome. You guys, definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you guys see this story, I would say pick it up, especially if it's on sale. Definitely pick this thing up. I don't think you guys will be too disappointed uh, with its performance. And maybe pick up a new grip, or I'll pick up a new grip when somebody creates one uh, for the Nerf Ultra 3. Anyways, thanks again, Fox fans. Have a good one.